Hello everyone. Welcome to new video off Whiteout Survival. Today I have come with a new, informative video for you. Get your fishing rod and be ready. Because the topic is fishing tournament. I have already made three videos in fishing tournament. So in this video, I will not discuss in details on fishing tournament. I will do some experiments on fishing tournament and share the result. Also, I will give some tips on fishing so you can maximize your score. Let's jump in our video. Fishing tournament has come for the fourth time. In our server and current season is autumn. Like previous seasons, Alonso is fisherman again. In animation, we see Alonso, Patrick and Bahidi are fishing. So I was expecting Patrick or Bahidi as the fisherman this time. Let's talk about the experiment. I will use treasure chart with multiplier and as fishing voucher. And I will check the result. Every day you can get one treasure chart free from daily chest. Treasure chart is used for the expedition. In exotic zone where you can get rare fish. I am doing the experiment as free to play player. Because in this video, I will show how to maximize score as free to play. If you get one treasure chart free daily. In 5 days you will get 5 treasure chart. I suggest you to save all the treasure chart and don't use them every day. For the first 4 days, only focus on normal fishing and upgrade your fishing tools. First upgrade your line, next upgrade your hook, last upgrade your sinker. Using this method, you can go deeper and you can get rare valuable items so you can upgrade tools faster. Once you get each fish at least one time, try to catch high scoring fish and item. And don't forget to claim fishing pro set. Every day you can get it free one time. From the guide you can check which fish and item are high scoring. Without treasure chart, it is almost impossible to get the rare items. See, I have upgraded line, hook and sinker to maximum level. Once. The fishing tools are upgraded to maximum level. You can go for power cast or multiplier. The multiplier is applicable for both ice fishing and frosty prospector. So keep your real stabilizer, ocean summoner and lantern ready. If you are going for fight x multiplier, you will need special items fight x times. But you will not get chance to use them fight x times. That means you will get for real stabilizer not 20 real stabilizer. See, with multiplier I made a good score. If I use ice fishing voucher now, the score will be extremely high. But it was ice fishing. I want to use ice fishing voucher for frosty prospector. If you are a free to play player, you will get one treasure chart, one horn of Poseidon, one ice fishing voucher. From ice fishing club, so use them carefully. Don't use the voucher if your score is low. I am going for power cast. See, as I am increasing number of multiplier, the number of special item is also increasing. So, you are suggested to get enough special items. If you have low number of special items, get them using gems. Here, I am using one treasure chart. And I am experimenting what score comes. Try to avoid getting bumped. Go as much deep as possible. And catch only those fish who are glowing. Remember, if you are free to play player, treasure chart is very important for you. Don't waste it catching low scoring fish. See, I got some rare items who are available during autumn. If I wanted, I could increase the score with voucher, but it was not power cast, so I will not use here. Next, I am going to use 2x multiplier to check the score. I had 3 treasure chart, so I could go 3x multiplier, but I kept 1 treasure chart because I have a horn of Poseidon, 
and it is best to use Treasure Chart and Horn of Poseidon together. It is not possible to use Frosty Prospect or Powercast and Horn of Poseidon together. Because if you are a free-to-play player, you will get only one Horn of Poseidon in a season. See, I have caught some items of Autumn. You can see I have extremely high score. If you want, you can use Ice Fishing Voucher. After using Frosty Prospect or Power Cast, your score will be skyrocketed. But if you want, you can also use it. After using one Treasure Chart and one Horn of Poseidon together, you are suggested to always use Horn of Poseidon and Treasure Chart together because you have a chance to get several rare items in one expedition. Next, I am going to use Horn of Poseidon. Let's summon a rare fish. My all items are ready for expedition. You can see you cannot use the power cast and Horn of Poseidon together. So we will go normal cast. Here you can see, Ocean Summoner and Horn of Poseidon will work together. Using this, you can get some high scoring, rare fishes. If you can save a diver during this, score will be increased by extra 5%. This is the special fish summoned by Horn of Poseidon. If you get some high scoring fish like this, your voucher will be useful. See, my score is not as high as Frosty Prospect or Power Cast. So there will be low score if I use voucher here. In last expedition, the main score was 1520. You can clearly see the difference. This was my experiment. Now let's share the result and tips with you. You have to save treasure chart till the last day of the tournament. You have to upgrade fishing tools as fast as possible. Even if you are a free to play player, you have to spend gems on special items when you are lack of them. You have to use one horn of Poseidon and one treasure chart together. Free to play players will not be able to use horn of Poseidon with treasure chart power cast. After using Horn of Poseidon, you are suggested to use remaining treasure chart as Frosty Prospector Power Cast. You are suggested to use Voucher after using Frosty Prospector Power Cast. These are tips I got as result from Experiment Ant. I shared with you. In this video, I have not discussed other things. If you want to know about Line, Hook, Sinker, Horn of Poseidon, Treasure Chart, Real Stabilizer, Ocean Summoner and Lantern, watch previous parts. I have made detailed video on them. Link given in pinned comment. That is all for this video. To watch more, subscribe.